Hey kids, I hope everybody's well. We are going to draw a baby bird in a nest in a tree outside today to keep going with our uh, spring theme, okay? Because, you know, the flowers are blooming and the trees are, the, the, the birds are in the trees and um, it's, it's uh, starting to get nice out. So this picture you can see, we're going to use this as our bird in our nest, but then we're going to add a a tree branch underneath him and then we're gonna add a sun and a cloud and um, you know we're gonna make it a nice sunny day uh, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it and remember whatever you have to draw with if you just have a pencil and a piece of scrap paper whatever kind of scrap paper and I I've colored it in but you guys don't have to if you don't have anything to color in with but if you do color in with whatever you have okay so to start we're gonna always do what we always do we put our name in the bottom corner Right? And then we're going to put a dot in about the middle of the paper. All right? I do the dot in the middle of the paper so we have an idea of where we're, where we are at on the paper. So try to make sure, you know, and if, if you just take your pencil and you go like this and you point at each corner and then you go like this, oh, it's about, that's about the middle. Okay? And if it's not in the perfect middle, it's fine. Who cares? Okay? Just want to get it close though because we want to have room around it to do other things than the bird. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is make the bird's head. We're going to make the round shape of the bird's head, okay? And I'm going to do that above my dot, and I'm going to make it, um, uh, I'm going to make it about the size of a racquetball. But you probably don't know what a racquetball is because there's not much racquetball going on anymore. All right, so it's it's probably the size of like a matchbox. If you took a I took a car. A toy car and you went both ways all right so it's right above my dot right and maybe the size of an egg but rounder okay so there is my bird's head and now I'm gonna make his eyes which are just two circles circle over here and a circle over here. Now make sure you make them bigger. Don't make them too small. Part of this picture is that he's, you know, he's got big, big, cute eyes. Okay. And then I'm going to make a circle up in this corner. And then a little circle down in this corner and this one. And then the same thing over here. Big circle up here. Little circle down here. Later you can color it in, but not now. Don't color it in with pencil yet. Okay. Next I'm going to make his beak, which is just a triangle with kind of a curved top. All right, and we're gonna make some little feathers sticking out of his head. Now on this one, there's just two little feathers, but I'm gonna make three. One, two, three, okay? Because that one kind of looks like a bow, but this this is a, <clears throat> I think it's supposed to be feathers, okay? So now we're gonna make his body, which is just the top. So over here, like even with the side of his head, I'm gonna make an arch that comes up, touches the head, and then comes down over on this side. All right. And now I'm going to make the top of the nest. So the top of the nest, comes across, right? And you may come out a little bit further on either side. All right. And I'm going to erase that dot in the middle. And to make the nest, I just make it like a bowl, a U shape okay and now I have to make his little wings so I'm gonna make a little curved line on this side and a little curved line on this side and we're gonna put like a little white patch on his chest or her chest okay comes up like this all right and we'll color all this in except for the middle will be white all right now, next we're gonna make a tree, okay? The tree is gonna be over here. So I just make a line that starts up in this corner and it's gonna end on this side where my name is. So it's gonna get a little bit bigger towards the bottom, okay? So there's my tree. Now my branch is gonna come out from under and it's gonna, the nest is gonna be sitting on the branch and I'm going to make it go up over here. 
and you'll see why in a second. So just go ahead and do that one. Now, I'm gonna make the branch thicker, but it's gonna get thinner. See that? And then as it gets to this corner, it's gonna kinda of come up. All right. And I'm gonna make some little leaves. All right, which is down and around. There's curved lines that touch. Maybe make one over here, one over here. Now, you can put them in different spots. I'm just putting them here. Oh, we have to finish doing the nest, don't we? Anyway, I'm going to put a little line in the middle of each one of these leaves so we know it's a leaf. Okay. Now, to finish doing the nest, I'm just going to start making diagonal lines that go off each other. Okay. So here's a line here. There's a line here. I have another one here. I'm gonna make kind of a flat one that touches the, to the two so I don't get too up and down. But however you make them is fine, right? Okay, so there's the start of the nest. And then I just put some, and these are more horizontal. They're diagonal, but they're horizontal too because horizontal's this way, remember? Vertical's this way. Show me horizontal. Show me vertical. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to put some vertical lines that are angled here and there. The only thing I wouldn't do is the only thing I wouldn't do is is like stack them right on top of each other, space them out so they're kind of here and there, right? Look at that, huh? Huh? All right, now we're gonna make the ground way down below. So we're gonna just put, put a horizontal line down here, okay? And then up in the corner, we're gonna make a sun. That's a pretty big sun. Matter of fact, I'm gonna make that smaller. A little too big for me. Okay. Better. Long, short, long, short, long, short. Okay, there's my sun. And then on this side, there's a bumpy cloud, and a cloud is just an oval that's bumpy. Right? And there it is. All right? There's my bird on my tree. And you know, down here, you could even put in some flat, some tulips and tulips are just use with a zigzaggy line. And they're, remember, they're way down far below. So they're gonna be pretty small. Okay. You can put as many as few as you want to, want to in. And uh, so there it is. Now, I colored mine in. If you have stuff to color in with, that's great. If you don't, that's fine. It's a, it's a nice picture. And uh, I hope you, hope you enjoyed doing it. And we'll see you soon. And take care.